Nathan, thank you for being here. And again, I am just so sorry for what you and the other family members are all going through at this time. Have the authorities shared any other details of this crime with you all? No, not at this time. They're still, I know after the day, they found some more findings. And so they're still processing the scene. And have they been helpful? Have they kept you in the loop at least? Do you feel that you're being respected in terms of your need for more knowledge of what happened? Uh, for the most part, they have. I know at the beginning, I was getting most of my information through social media. Well, that just feels heartbreaking. I know that you went to the, to the scene yourself. What did you discover there? Uh, well, it was actually me and my wife that went out there. Uh, my wife had said, my wife calls it more of like a, a horror scene. I see it something more of out of something like out of a uh, criminal minds segment. How so? What do you mean? What did you witness? Uh, just uh, the way that things were in there. I mean, it's just straight. I mean, just. I don't know, the rooms, the way the rooms were set up, I mean, everything in there, it just was just, just horrendous. Are you referring to the rooms of uh, Jesse McFadden's home on that property? We were under the understanding that, that yes. the bodies had been found from the sheriff. They told us that the bodies had been found out on the property. Right. Well, that's, that's a, that, on, that, on that part, you're right. That we did actually go out there where the bodies were found laying they told us exactly where to find the where you know where to go exactly where to go to find the areas where the bodies were so we were able to walk right straight to it and uh on that part there was you know no no signs of any blood or nothing like that but in the house it's just the way things were laid out and things was just something that was just unbelievable for a parent anything to, even specific? See, to even go through this uh, yeah, what do you mean I, 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 well, I don't really want to go into too much detail, <laughs> but it's just something that was not not right. Um, is there is there anything that um, you've been told by the authorities not to share with us, or anything that you don't want to share with the public? Uh, there's uh, no. The authorities didn't really have anything not to share with it, but uh, a lot of things I didn't really. Uh, wanted to really come out with the public on some of the things because it's just out of respect to my daughter and other the other victims. I understand. Um, you are making plans now for funeral and memorial. Can you tell us what you're doing? Yes, uh, right now it's planned for uh, for the funeral on Wednesday the 2nd, or 2nd, Wednesday the 10th at 2 o'clock uh, at the high school gym here in Henrietta. And she's going to be taken for, uh, from there to the cemetery on a horse-drawn carriage. Nathan, our thoughts are with you. And I am so sorry for what you and the other families have lost. Thank you for sharing this part of the story with us. And the best of luck to you as you You're go welcome. through this process. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.